it's Pula. My hand already hurts. Oh, it's so cute. Curl, please. She's literally just hitting this thing. We're not getting to SS rank today. Can I do the thing, please? Why isn't it letting me do the thing? I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. There we go. Friends and gamers, I said I would do another video for PGR, round two for the update, if you will. We do have our battle pass reset, thank God. And there also is a new little event running for Easter, the Egg Hawker event. It looks like it's just like a shop of sorts. Six days on that. Everything is so cute. I don't, what is, what does any of this do? Question. Flaming Egg gives 30,000 cogs in a randomly get event construct rnd ticket 5 10 15 okay so it's like an easter egg hunt in game what i'm assuming because if you go to the news bit it's over in easter egg egg hawker during the event complete event mission easter egg hunter yeah it just takes you to the shop and then egg hunter yeah you just have to do various things in game and it's all really simple stuff it's just like a simple little event for the I don't know if it's on other servers, but it's at least on NA. So we have round two. You're going to try old Pulau. We are going to try the new coding for Karenina. Uh, I think that's it. I do want to start recording the because I did not. I did not record anything else <laughs> yesterday because I'm recording this the day after the other video. It's there's going to be maybe a day in between the upload. Unsure, but round two. So at, literally everything is open. Night Mayfly interlude has opened. Story mode interlude. Roamer records is available. There is Pulau. And then we have Deed of Snow Leopard, which is just a test trial thing. That one's pretty simple. Nothing else new has opened, but if we have time, we will be doing like, I don't know, maybe we'll go back to Devour Wave Escape because I did not give that a good shot last time. First of all, I want to do Bamboo Dojo. We're gonna start with Bamboo Dojo just so I can use my stuff for the day because I have 220 serum just from logging in and it, I need to get rid of that. So let's go get rid of that. Ooh, I have this, I have the mess of a team. I need to work on this team. I, mm, <laughs> I forgot I changed my team so heavily and I'm, I'm cool with it. So fun times, I did some stuff off camera. I got a five-star weapon for Don Lucia, four out of six recommended memories. Nanami has her five star weapon and three out of six halfway on five star. Oh no, six star memories. Same thing here. Those are six stars, right? Yeah, six. And then we have Liv. Now her memory set is a bit clunky. It's a lot of five stars, I know, but it does the job. Once I get everything, this one leveled up because I had a three set on her and I was like, no, this isn't gonna work. So. Why is her battle power so low though? Maybe it's just level? Yeah, cause she's level 63. Yeah, I don't know. Working on Lucia, working on Anami. So until then, I don't know what we're doing. I don't have cogs to level this team up. All right, I guess we're doing the weird uh, 21 team. Listen, it worked yesterday. It's gonna have to work today. <laughs> Maybe I should check any of the new stuff that's opened. I don't think I need serum for it. Uh, I have a lot of extra serum though. So it's probably okay. Let's go farm some bamboo. Also, yes, I'm just doing this makeshift team to level everyone up because I have no materials whatsoever because I keep leveling characters out of the blue just when I feel like it. So we're not going to talk about it. This is my warm up because we're about to do some actual gaming in a hot minute. So I I feel like I, I could use a little bit of a warm up here. All right. Hello, Nanami. We'll do that. That was like not good. I I am sleepy. I ran errands today. It is a Saturday. I ran errands. Who is she? Yeah, we can we can probably just skip this part of the video. Listen, you gotta do your material runs. You gotta do them. Remember to do your material runs. So many pings, but you can't give me like anything to three. I have two of each. Okay, there's a three ping. Thank you. That's that's what we need here. Thank you. Now we have pings. Here's the deal. I've been thinking about moving all of my buttons onto the other side of the screen, but I'm really used to this side of the screen. So I don't know what to do with that. Just because I cover them on this side, but if I put my model on the other side of the screen. I'm covering text if we're doing story and I need to figure that out. So, oh, did I get hit? I did. I almost switched myself in with Lucia as well, which would have been bad because she's not leveled. There we go. It did not lose my combo. That is all that matters to me. I'm trying to get rid of these pings. Okay, there we go. My hand already hurts. This is going to be a fun day. All right. All right. You know, 
when I first pulled 21, I thought I would never use her, as well as I had no idea why she was classified as a tank. She's classified as a tank because of this. You can just range for your life with her. This is why she's a tank. She just survives for so long. It's the range damage. So I'm like, she, she does range damage. There's no way she's a tank. Nope, she is. I'm almost thinking to try and get the remaining memories I need for my team from the shop. Like, forego the set for... Eh, we have time. I probably will try to get the set for whoever... I okay, Nanami went up to level 17. That's pretty good. What can we get from the event shop today? We can get one more Marco memory. We will get number three. There we go. Already halfway done with this set. And then I, what I was trying to say while I was fighting is I actually probably am going to set my sights on getting the remaining memories I need for my team from the grocery store. So I don't know. It depends on if we get pull out early or not, which I think it should be pretty fine. So we're going to start off with the Deed of Snow Leopard trial just because it's probably the easier easier one. And this is for Karnina's new coding. This art is so pretty, by the way. And solo battle it. Oh, it's so cute. I don't want to edit the test team. I just want to look at it closer. It's such a cute little outfit. It's like y'all. All right, mission start that. It's cute. Yes, that's a little really. Okay, three ping, three ping, three ping. I'm just going to hit these three pings and then ult maybe? Do Does her ult get rid of her pings? No, it doesn't. It's just a... Uh, okay. I'm, I guess I we ult again. They must have... They had to have boosted her for the trial. But it's such a cute skin. Uh, I can't get over that. There we go. Okay, so we finished the trial so we can get the rewards. Can we, can we, can we, I, can we get rid of the pings? I just want to see the outfit. Curl, please. There's no way for me to just see the outfit. Oh, I mean, I can kind of... I didn't know that. I mean, I'm not clicking on these, by the way. I used my mouse wheel. I didn't know I could do that with my mouse wheel. Um... Oh, what is hitting? Something is like passively hitting. It's such a cute little outfit. Okay, what's the ending uh, thing? Where's the interaction point right there? It's so cute. If I spent money in this game, I would buy it. Even the, like, <laughs> a little thing. Oh, that's adorable. Shut up. Okay, that's really cute. We got our rewards. So we are done with that trial. That's why I want to do it first, because it is very easy. Now we have Romer Records, the Pulau Trial. So there is Ranger of Justice, which I'm kind of covering both of the options. Ranger of Justice is the character challenge stage. And then Wandering Traveler is the character tutorial stage. So we're going to be doing that. First, we're going to start with her core skill. And we just have Pulau. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. One of the new screens. That's so pretty. Ooh, there she is. Oh, she's adorable. All right. Pull out Dragon Toll needs to accumulate energy to cast the signature move and throw Dragon Axe. Oh my god, she's an axe. That's fun. So I guess we, yeah, three ping to accumulate energy. Is she just punching? She's literally just hitting this thing. Use the signature move Split Blade Dragon Throw to throw Dragon Axe. So we're going to do that. There she goes. It's cute. Looks like she, I don't, I was going to say it looks like she does damage, but we're going to have to get into the challenge for to see how much damage she actually does. If Pula fails to catch Dragon Axe, it will spin around the field. Tap the signature button at any time to summon back Dragon Axe. Okay, so signature button at any time. All right, catch Dragon Axe with any ping, trigger the Dragon Force combo and the follow up. All right, there's definitely a way to do this. There's definitely a way to use Pula, but um, we're gonna have to learn, I think. Accumulate Dragon Force, which is our bar down here, with basic attack slash pings, and then cast the Dragon Force combo by consuming Dragon Force. So how do we cast that combo? With Dragon Axe on the field and enough energy, press and hold signature button to cast the Spirit Blade, Falling Stars, and deal area damage. So we can have like an AoE, it looks like. I'm assuming it'll tell you when to do it, mayhaps. Let's give it a shot again. So we hit our ult to do the thing. And then we hit it again to bring back or so it's on the field so we can do the charge. OK, all right. It looks like it just has like infinite power here on the bar for Dragon Axe. Oh, cute. <laughs> Wait, her big sword just coming in from the back. It's like really it's like comical in a like more nuanced way, like not as like crazy about it, but it's, it's, it's funny. Okay, character switch. We have Chupavo with Pulau. So let's see how this one works. <laughs> I love her idle animation on her sword. Like, it's so funny, especially next to Chupavo, because Pulau's just like, when she like is messing around with her sword and Pavo's like standing here, like distinguished. All right, let's give it a shot. 
She's so pretty. This is. These are now the only two uniframes. I said the right word. Ha ha ha. I think. I think that's the right word. These are the only two I don't have now. So interesting. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I need both. I don't really use uniframes in game yet, though. So I don't think I need to go too crazy. But I would like to have Pulau. I would. I actually would. Okay. First trigger Pulau Dragon Tolls QTE skill with a three ping. So bring that in. When Dragon Axe is not on the field, Pulau's QTE will summon Dragon Axe to deal damage. So we bring her in. Ooh, fun. So it drops that on the field and has a bit of an AoE, but it's like a moving AoE. I guess it'd be more of like a, not like a projectile, but <laughs> it kind of is a projectile, isn't it? Okay, when Chu casts her signature move, Pulau above SS rank will gain a certain amount of signature energy and dragon force. I don't, we're not getting to SS rank today, gamers, so. They're both so cool. <laughs> Upon entering the field, Pula will throw Dragon Axe without the cost of energy. Upon max signature energy, she will directly cast Spirit Blade Falling Stars. All right. So now we have a lot of red pings. Accumulate signature energy, and when the signature button lights up, press and hold the button to cast Spirit Blade. So, oh, can I, oh, it's the, press and hold the signature. Can I hold, press and hold the signature? Pull out, girly. Can I do the thing, please? Why isn't it letting me do the thing? I am, okay, I have no, now I can do it. Why can I do it now? Cause I am out of the energy. That is so confusing. Oh, oh, her yellow ping is nice. I like the noise it makes, that's good. And the mountain thing that shows up, that's good. Chu really wanted in, but uh, no. <laughs> I can't get over it at the big sword, it's so good. I love that. Okay, number three, combat practice. I think this is where we start fighting things. She's really fun. I feel like I would really enjoy her. So we might try to pull her and just kind of leave her for now. I don't think I would build her if I do pull her today, but she's really fun. All right, Washu, let me add it. So exclusive four piece memory set is, yeah, it's saying that it's recommended. Oh my God. Now we gotta put my skills to the test. I think if I die, it just lets me back in. Like I am allowed to, okay, yeah. So the button is lit up, good. I think before, with the button, it might have been a glitch, honestly, because yeah, I don't know really. It kind of tells you when to do the thing, so we should be fine. Just hit the buttons when they appear, you'll be fine. No big. She does a lot of damage and a lot of damage quickly. Usually, I die during those. I uh, dare I say, I think she's a little bit better than Roland. I uh, dare I say, I know. Shock. Okay, true test. We did the tutorial. Now we have the challenge mode, which. I don't have enough characters for this. All I have is the singular trial Pulau. No more tips, please. Thank you. <laughs> so we have to make this work in one way or another. I am going to throw on... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I have to have... I guess we throw in Selena and we throw in Roland. No one's really built. We can throw in Camus, maybe? Who works best off fields? Because all of my... I must call them transcendence. My uniframe, tra they're transcendence, you know, they're transcendence. They all have like two little affixes here. Pula only has one. So, um, hmm. And Camus has a history of, uh, Roland, hi. I'm not gonna be running either of you. You're just gonna be in the background. Okay, um, yeah, just everyone's like color coded in a, Roland, you talk so much. I'm gonna keep making fun of you for that. Okay, let's go. I can only use, Pulau's leader skill, so let's hit that. There she goes! <laughs> She's so fun, I can't get over it. Ah, uh, okay, that's not entirely what I wanted to do, but we'll make we'll make it we'll make it work. This is such a annoying setup, by the way. <laughs> also, I really wish we had a healer in this uh I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I don't like this setup at all. I need more pings as well. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Goodbye, tree man. Now you know the tree man. Now we are doing damage and all is well. I didn't realize I had another uh, ultimate skill waiting for me there. Anyways, yeah, pull out is really good. <laughs> we're just uh, smacking the tree. Yep. Yeah, I don't. I th I think she's good. I think she's really good. Um, I'm surprised. I I am actually surprised. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to be this good. Okay. So we did challenge stage one. Brains over brawn. Wait, brains over brains? What does this mean? <laughs> I think that's the thing I, I don't know yet. Anyways, what is this? Trade voucher? Can be exchanged for items in shop. Voucher exchange. Okay. Why does that? I, why do I feel like I've never seen that before? 
Okay, challenge two, the recommended BP is 6,000. Um, this is where it gets dicey. But you know what? I believe, I believe, I do believe in Pula. Oh, you know what? I think I get it now. Because Uniframe, they all have the same, like, type here. It's all, I have no idea what that, Vanguard. They're all Vanguard. But then you go to the Omniframes and they all, like, you have different ones. You have Attacker, Tank, Support, and Amplifier. Interesting. So what is... Vanguard is focused on burst, has attack skills that deal severe burst damage. Do we even have any Omniframe Vanguard units? I don't think we do. Uh, I don't, at least. Um, interesting. That that team worked before, so you know what? They're coming back in with their severely underleveled BP. This might be where we call it. You know, it wouldn't be the first time we call it here. I need to do character leveling. I need to level up my account. I need to level up everything. Okay, just must be prepared to dodge. That is the name of the game here. And get as many three pings as possible. I don't like being in the corner. That is my least favorite spot to be. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, when did I switch in Roland? Um, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's, he's dead. Okay, Selena, hi. Uh, no, he's alive. 49 health on the- okay, now he's dead. Thank god. I am back on Pulau. This is doable now. We can do this. She looks like she gets her health back herself pretty easily, which is good. So, wow. Okay, now it's getting dicey. Now it's getting dicey. I like how you can knock your opponents off their feet. Okay, now- okay, okay, I, okay. Hey, yo, why am I- what just happened? We're dead. Well, Selena, hi. You are my last hope for a- very short period of time here because you're probably gonna die too yeah she's dead all right i like pulau i just don't have transcendence that are built you know this always happens it's fine she's fun though i do like her which means it's pulling time it's pulling time i have so many things to grab now because i did the stuff no black cards though so kind of sucks what can i get from this easter egg hunt here nothing yeah, nothing. I need at least three of the silver eggs, egg coins. And there's egg coins and bunny coins. I need at least, at least. This is weird though, because you can use bunny coins to buy egg coins, but you only get one. But I feel like the egg coins are easier to get. Oh, this is the voucher exchange? I need more vouchers. God, I need more. I can still get Selena. Other oh, Selena. This is the brains thing. Okay, obtained by clearing Roma records. Let's put it on the, the wall. Wall time. Where do you want to put it on the wall? I think right there. Perfect. Oh my god, my screen glitched so hard. Uh, mobile phone emulators on PC are always so much fun. I can get BB. I have to grab all this, all these things or it's going to drive me insane. Wow, level two. Okay, pull time. We can't do that many pulls, but we can do a couple. Okay, maybe I should actually get this stuff first because I think there's black cards in here. Black cards, five of them. <laughs> Oh, 10 of them. Sick. Okay. Uh, let's do some pulls. So the uh, Bianca and Lee banner is still running for about a week, I think. Target Uniframe is new, new, new. I have Chu selected because I was going for her for a while. We switched to uh, Pulau. There she is. I do kind of miss the old UI for the uh, Uniframe banner uh, just because... It was like dark mode. This is light mode. First of all, I don't like light mode. And second of all, I just think it worked better for the uniframes with the, the vibe they gave off. So do we have new... Is Selena on the base one? I don't think so. Yeah, no. I have one to select it. You know what? Just random. Random because we might come here a little bit later. Target weapon has changed because we have the new uniframe weapon. Unsure if we'll go for that, but for now, we do a, just like just a few pulls for Pulau. I have zero out of 10 and we are, it's a hundred percent rate. So I don't think I can do 10. So she's gonna have to come home early. <laughs> I need 50. All right, pull number one. Hopefully this is the one and I can be done. It's purple. It is a memory. Okay, all right. I'm not going to need that memory for Pulau, but I can use it for leveling, maybe. And we do another. I only have one by <laughs> three bowls. Wow. Okay, this is number two. Uh, it has. This has to be Pulau. Like, uh, there's, there's no other way. It is purple again. And it is another. It's the same memory, I think. This one's six. I don't know what the last one was, but. Ah. Okay, last one. 
last one and then i have to play the game and do polls in game so if i don't get pull out on this poll um we're all gonna have to wait because it's gonna be in later content <laughs> i'm so scared i'm so scared i'm gonna do this slowly <laughs> Please be gold. It's purple. Yeah. It, oh, that's even worse. It's mats. It's EXP pods. What the heck? It's only one. That sucked. That really sucked. Is there anything else I can do like really quick? I don't think so. I don't think so. I unless I go into story. Ah, stinky. That is stinky. Okay. Well, that's that. Yeah, I think uh, the only other way I can get stuff is by doing like story and stuff. So I guess that's the end of the video. Unfortunately, no Pulau, but that doesn't mean we won't get her later. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we will get her later. I do want to look at her new outfit though. The outfit for her, the new one is so cute. It's, it's such a cute coating. All right. I love it for her. I think it's so funny because she definitely is just like this kid. And that, this outfit just screams. She, this, she's just some kid and I love it. She's just some kid that can kick her butt. Anyways, yeah, I think that's going to be it for Reveries with a Whale update video part two. We'll end on the Roma Records screen just because it's so pretty. The art for this update is so good, I swear. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!